Points come through. So, you want to work in the movies? Great! The first thing you need to know is how to use a walkie. What's a walkie? Wow! Walkies are how you communicate with your fellow crew members on a set. But how do they work? <laughs> Glad you asked, Tony. Let's start by putting them on. Take the walkie and clip it to your belt or waistband. Don't wear sweats or leggings or dresses to set. Next, plug the headset into the jack and feed the cable down the back of your shirt and clip it to your collar. Then put the earpiece into your ear. Having some trouble, Tony? No, no trouble here. Now, clip the final piece onto your shirt collar Push the button on the side and hold it to speak. Yippee-ki-yay, mother That's not how you talk into the walkie, Tony. But we'll get to that. If you want to turn on the walkie, turn the volume knob. It will click when it's on. <laughs> Careful! Don't turn the volume all the way up. Now that you can turn the walkie on, make sure people can hear you by saying... Walkie check. If you can be heard, someone will respond with... Good check. These numbers here represent different walkie channels. On most sets, channel 1 is for production. Channel 2 is for private conversations. What are you wearing, baby? Uh-uh-uh, Tony. No eavesdropping. Sorry. The rest of the channels are for other departments, like art or camera. But you should always be on channel 1 if you are a production assistant. Now let's demonstrate how to speak walkie. Maybe you want Jeff to meet you over by where you're standing. The proper way to get someone's attention is to say, Over for Jeff. Go for Jeff. Can you help me with these boxes? Copy. Flying in. Which means that he's running over as quickly as possible. Sometimes the assistant director will make important calls over the walkie. Rolling. Yeah, so, uh, someone echo my calls. Why is no one echoing my calls? What does that mean? It means if the AD is shouting, rolling, you make sure you repeat it out loud so anyone nearby can hear. Yeah, I was saying we could have... Uh, rolling, uh, rolling. Barlow. Rolling. Good job, Jeff. Nikki for Tony. You've got a brand new set Nikki for Tony. Watch, uh, Nikki watch for Tony. Two or three times. Does anyone know. have eyes on Tony? Aurora Nikki. I do. He's on his cell phone. But I can help you. What do you need? Nice work, Aurora. That's exactly what a good PA should do. Tony, don't use a cell phone on set. You should be listening to the walkie at all times. Sorry. What are we locking? I'm so confused. No worries, Jeff. I'll show you. Locking up means stopping any pedestrians from walking into the shot and ruining the take. All right. Ooh, I got this. I got this. Oh! Oh, my leg. Oh. No, 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 Aurora. Put the weapon down. This is not that kind of set. To properly lock it up, you are supposed to stop pedestrians from walking onto set. If a pedestrian walks towards you while rolling, simply put your hands up and mouth for them to stop walking. If they don't listen and keep walking, you go on the walkie and tell production that there is a bogey coming towards set. Be specific. Bogey coming around the corner, wearing earmuffs and a peacoat. Make sure you speak quietly, or you'll ruin the sound. We got bo bogeys. There's like a pink woman. She had a mustache. Where's the martini? That's not what martini shot means, but it does mean that's the end of our video. Aww. Don't worry. There's plenty more to learn. And now you're one step closer to being the perfect production assistant.